the organised crime groups in the UK and the Netherlands had formed an alliance with the Italian Mafia. And traditionally, these two groups are, were at, <coughs> at odds with each other, competitors. But now they're working cooperatively, which means they're, they're sharing their corrupt assets, they're sharing their supply routes and reducing their risks by working collectively together. This happens at every level all over the world, all over the world. Look at Mexico, for example. There used to be 20 cartels in Mexico. Now there are only three. And, each, and those three cartels have a bigger GDP than most West African countries. And they've used that power to completely corrupt those West African countries. So you've got narco states like Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Senegal. They're not legitimate governments anymore. They're run by, international, by transnational organized crime. This is the growing corruption that international drug prohibition is causing. And it's accelerated by the attempt to police the drugs markets. We are not having any benefit, any tangible success or benefit from policing drugs. We are only accelerating this journey towards the growing power of organized crime.